All right, so it's uh, Tuesday, June 28th here in Bozeman. We have a truck update. The uh, Ford dealership called us this morning and said they were gonna start taking apart the, the transmission today. Then they called us back at around 3.30 p.m. today. They said they got it apart and sure enough, it's what they thought it is. It's the clutch. One of the clutches inside the automatic transmission is completely shot. They said the tranny fluid that they drained out, um, which we just paid $600 to put in, not two weeks ago in Utah, was just filled, it was dirty, filled with chunks of metal and everything else, so. Um, the bad news is that part is on back order until July 18th. July 18th, which is like three weeks from now, is oh, nice. when they can hopefully ship it. And then they have to get it and still put everything back together, which means it's like a month. Um, but I think we have found a solution, which is tomorrow morning, Jess is gonna take an Uber to the Bozeman Airport where she will rent a car and drive three and a half hours to Idaho oh, Falls, Idaho, and rent an Enterprise truck rental. There's a, they have a Ram 2500, so a three quarter ton pickup down there that we can rent for a month to the tune of about $2,000, which to be honest is cheaper than if we just rented a car here to use, which because they were charging us $138 a day for that little minivan. So Jess is gonna drive all the way down there, drop the rental car off down there, get the pickup truck, bring it back here tomorrow. And then this Friday or Saturday, hopefully we hitch up and we head north to Glacier and then to- um, um, Babber. Into Canada. We went to Babber. The truck, the United Truck Rental said we can tow with it and we can cross the border to Canada. So, yay. Then we have to just adjust our plans um, on the way back from Canada, we were supposed to come go west through Canada and down through BC and into Washington, but we obviously can't do that because number one, we got to come back to Bo to Bozeman and get our truck. Number two, we have to drop drop off the truck rental back in Idaho Falls. So we have to adjust some plans, but at least we get to do the meat of the summer in, in Canada there. Um, and then I don't know, like hopefully the truck is even ready to be when we get back here. It's fixed by then hopefully we'll see anyway that's the long of it any thoughts comments uh no we're just happy we have some sort of way to continue so yeah yeah just gonna be to be honest this is probably all the options are extremely expensive this is the least expensive <laughs> anyway that's the tentative plan so and it's good because they, uh, the other thing too is the people here at the RV park told me this morning that uh, they, they're not going to let us, we can't stay here indefinitely. Like we can't stay here for a month. Even another week would be hard because they're super, super booked. We're in a sort of quote emergency spot. So the writing was on the wall for staying here. So we need to get out of here. So hopefully this, this will work. Okay, so it's my turn to narrate. Um, Let's see, it's around almost seven. There's a band going off. Um, they're playing music at the hot springs. And um, the kids are tired from our hike and everything else. And um, so Don decided to put on a movie for the kids. And uh, they're watching a Disney movie while um, I'm gonna go check out the hot springs during the music. I got my wristband on. Sunday, seven o'clock band starting. I'm gonna go for a little bit to just soak, soak my bones. There's one, two, three, four pools. I think that one closes to the door that they're holding for, um, I guess, swim lessons. And then this is, that's the hottest pool over there. And then this is the medium pool and that's the kids' cold pool that kids like to go to. So, I think it's like 104 degrees. And then, um, this one's about 90 something, 96.
right, well, it's uh, Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. And Jess left this morning. She took an Uber to the Bozeman Airport where she then rented a car, drove the car three and a half hours down to Idaho Falls, returned that car, got another Uber to the um, Enterprise truck rental down there and has the Ram 2500 pickup truck. And she's on her way back to Bozeman now with it. So tonight we will have a tr pickup truck. We rented it for a month. And hopefully our truck is fixed after that. So, woohoo! Jess is almost back with the truck. We're gonna wave her on in and jump up and down and be happy. Come on, guys! Here she comes, guys! Here she comes! With our temporary new tow vehicle. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! The adventure continues. Do you need a ride somewhere? Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, so here we are. We got a Hemi 6.4. Why you want this? Bed's a little bit smaller than ours. We also don't have our tuna cover um, or bike rack, so we're gonna have to just rework how we store everything. I put the kids' seats in here already. So first order of business, and get to get ready for that is to adjust my stinger for the Pro Pride hitch. So this is what I'm talking about. Right, so that's, you know, what we use to tow the trailer with. And obviously, you know, this thing, I don't know to see here, this thing's adjustable, right? This Ram 2500, the hitch is a lot higher than my uh, F-150. And not only is it higher, this thing has stiffer springs, so it's not going to come down as much uh, when I load up the, the weight in it. So I'm going to have to lower that thing so that it still toes this thing nice and level. So that's what I'm going to do right now. All right. I just stuck it in the hitch receiver. That'll make it easier to unbolt it. All right. Get them loose. So what I'm gonna do is take it all out, flip this over, and mount it a different one, the downward. You'll see. So I just flip this thing so it faces down. So now I got more ways to more holes to make it lower. So now I got it about the same height off the ground as it was with my flip F-150. Now I'm just gonna bolt it up, and uh, hopefully that should be it. Oh, there's the rental. Ready to hit the road with our rental truck. Although, not quite yet. Still have to work the rest of the day, so we have to just move to a dirt parking lot over here, but... The hitch, I think I need to lower even more. Look at it. Airstream is... a bit low in the back. So, I'm gonna have to drop that another... Mm, inch or two. So, all right, we're done working. Time to start the 4th of July weekend and start towing again. Hooray. This is, we have a little bit of a sad pork chop. Logan and I already went, so we don't need to go. Olivia's really sad because she's going to miss all those friends that she was with all that time. She had a great time. But, and every place we go to, oh, I want to stay here forever. And then the next place we leave, she gets sad. And the next place, oh, I want to stay here forever. So it's good. She's, she's resilient. So no bike rack, no tuno cover. So I'm going to have to take this stuff out and lock it up every night. Um, at least the stuff that could be stolen. So hopefully it doesn't go flying out while we're driving. Other than that, Bozeman will be back in a month. Next stop is a Harvest Host on the way to Whitefish, Montana. We're gonna stop at a Harvest Host for one night tonight. This one I think is a tavern and has food. Yes. All right.
All right, here we are at Trixie's pub, restaurant, whatever. We're gonna go check it out. Today's Jess's birthday, so my birthday dinner. So uh, we have this spot here. Jess is gonna ask them if they want me to disconnect because, you know, I'm jutting way out. But we got 50 amps. They do charge us, I think, like 20, 25 bucks or something to use the power. Um, it's pretty hot, so we'll pay it and be able to have AC tonight. Um, so yeah, we'll go over here and we'll go celebrate Jess's birthday in the restaurant there. That's the first, I thought. Huh? It's, it's July 1st. Yeah, but I mean... Homemade pie, local burgers. Mm. And cold food. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, that's not for you. That's not for you. I want the missing kids. Yeah, well that's not for you though. Watch out. Four of you guys? Yes. Okay, we'll be back with many. Olivia's playing tic-tac-toe with me. And then look, Olivia, what's above us? Well, someone's watching. It's not Big Brother. Why can we not eat? Oh yeah, hold because on. Logan's tired. No, yeah, not yet. Okay. Logan's tired. Hey, waking up here from our harvest host spot at Trixie's uh, Bar and Grill and hit the road. Look at this. No matter how many times or how often we ever clean this thing, which we don't clean it that often, admittedly, it just gets so filthy. We had a big dirt road or a detour down a road here that was all dirt yesterday. So that's it. Everything just gets, gets filthy right away. All right, to Whitefish, Montana. Here we come. Fish. at the what is this white fish RV park, RV park. Yeah. there's our spot right pork shop yes and we're going on exploring well I'm gonna take a walk with pork shop so we're here in white fish got everything unloaded out of the truck and uh, yeah we're gonna go walk around a bit meet up with our friends Logan's gone? yeah yeah, so I haven't, I don't know if I've even mentioned this yet in any other videos, but I might as well bring it up now. In addition to dealing with the, all the truck issues that we've been having, even worse is we've been having to deal with uh, health issues with Logan. So as people I'm sure that have seen our videos in the past, know Logan a little over a year ago had a brain tumor and um, we went to MD Anderson Cancer Center in uh, Houston and he had a brain surgery, he had it removed a little over a year ago. And he was having seizures at the time, that's how we knew he had something, something was wrong. He hasn't had any seizures since then. He's been on medication until this past December when we finally weaned him off the medication because the, you know, the operation is successful and all. But starting a, like a couple of weeks ago, he started having seizures again. And um, so we're starting to put him back on medication for the seizures. We did get an MRI done in Jackson, Wyoming. Thankfully, the MRI showed that the tumor wasn't coming back. Um, I mean, at least it's still, you know, it looks the same as when after the operation, so that's good. But, you know, there's still, I guess, brain trauma or whatever, whatever's causing the seizures, you know, they don't, no one really knows. They can't ever say for sure. So we're starting to wean them back on. It takes like a month though to slowly get up to dosage. In the meantime though, the past few days especially, he's been having dozens of seizures, like, 
he's having them every like 10, 15 minutes the past two days. Like he's having them all the time. You know, they're not like epileptic seizures where, you know, you foam and you're on the ground. It's, he's just kind of, his one side, his right side kind of goes like, and he's like that sort of, and he's, and he's non-responsive and whatnot. So Jess uh, brought him back. Are you ready hey, for to explore? Hey, hold on. Anyway, Jess, is, Jess just brought him to the urgent care um, here in Whitefish. Even though, I mean, we're waiting to hear back from the doctors in Houston. I don't know what they're gonna say. Maybe just wait for the medication to take effect. Maybe try a different medication. I don't know, but it's very, I mean, that's obviously worse than, I don't care how much the truck costs and the truck breaks down and everything else. Like obviously Logan having those serious health issues is a much bigger deal. So there's something else we've been having to deal with the past month and a half. All right, let's go explore pork shop, okay? All right. I just got back from the hospital. Uh, Logan, um, so Jess took him to the urgent care, you know, and like I said, and then he threw up while he was there. He had right after he had another seizure. So they said take him to the emergency room of a bigger hospital down in Kalispell. So I just brought him down there. We were in, we were in there for a bit and, um, yeah, just having more seizures. They, we, you know, we're waiting to hear back from the neurologist in Houston. They're gonna give him a CAT scan to rule out any sort of, you know, he fell off a swing a few days ago, you know, and bumped his head. That may have made the seizures worse. We don't know. Um, they're gonna give him a CAT scan and just and blood work just to rule out those things and hopefully medication or something. But <sighs> so it's so hard, like. Uh, the past, like, this, you know, when did these start happening again? Three weeks ago, it's just bringing back all the memories of everything we went through when he had the brain surgery and initial diagnosis of the brain tumor. And, you know, all the truck and airstream troubles we've had the past few weeks, past month, and, you know, it's really puts it in a different light, like, who cares? <laughs> who cares how many thousands of dollars the truck's gonna cost or how inconvenient or time that you lose or, you know, it's all just inconveniences. It's just time and money and inconveniences, you know, which is nothing compared to, you know, Logan having some serious health issues. So I just hope he's, I go, I hope he, I hope he gets through all this. It's not easy. It's not easy for him, not easy for anyone. So I'm gonna go, fortunately, um, our fellow Airstreamers, David and Pong, who have watched our YouTube channel and they started full-timing after us. They're here in the RV park and they actually watched Livia while I went to the hospital. And I'm gonna go hang out with them now and cheer myself up a bit if I can. So that's all for now. As usual, I don't like to end our videos on too sad of a note. So I will say that as I'm sitting here editing this, we seem to have gotten Logan's seizures under control. And hopefully we have another positive update in our next video. Take care.